Hey everyone, I want to start off by reminding you all of the Facebook group that is now live and that's actually where I am starting to go like I'm going to start polling you guys on videos for me to make. So I know in my last video last week I touched on brand analytics and I had a feeling we were going to want to dive deeper into that. Um, so that was the, the quick poll that I put in the Facebook group was most people wanting more brand analytics. So if you haven't yet, look for the link in the um, description below to join the Facebook group. Because um, that being said, too, last week there was some there was a huge data delay on Amazon that was causing some really high ACOS numbers. So I mentioned that in there, and it, it's just a, it's a really still a small community of people where we're sharing some high level insights. So go ahead and check that out. Now, diving right in here, this is going to be all about brand analytics, and I have kind of a custom analysis that I dove through that I think is going to be interesting for a lot of you to, to kind of look at. So I chose a product here, a weighted blanket. Weighted blankets are like really heavy blankets that came out about a year or two ago, really popular, and they help people to sleep better, and they help with anxiety and stuff like that. So... What I did here is I pulled the quarterly data from Q1 of 2019, and then I also pulled, pulled the quarterly data from Q1 of 2020. So you'll kind of see where I'm going with this, and the idea is to look at the keyword volume trends over time. So I did this quarterly, but you know, with your own products and with launching new products, if you can look at this monthly, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so just a quick second to show you guys what I pulled. So you would pull this data from Amazon and then I deleted the product titles and I just cleaned things up a bit. So this is, this is what you would get. I just deleted a couple columns. Now, what I did here is I, I, I broke this out of the top 20 search terms, okay? Because I keep saying this, less is more. After the first 20 search terms from a category, it really starts to drop off. Now, right off the bat, what I have here is I have Q1 of 2019 search frequency with the average search frequency. So you think we want a lower number here because this means it was the 46th most common search term in Q1 of 2019. If I go to Q1 of 2020, weighted blanket dropped to 101. So the top 20 had a higher average um, search frequency rank because weighted blankets are becoming less popular than they were a year ago. So this is where I'm starting to, to, if I'm like launching a new product, launching a new variation, this is the stuff I'm looking at is, is the category growing or is it losing traction? Okay. But that's not the, I think the, the biggest thing here, the biggest thing we want to look at is the number one, two, and three click share. So what this is telling us is that in Q1 of 2019, the best selling ASIN for the keyword weighted blanket got 13.53% of all clicks, right? We type in weighted blanket, the best seller here would get 13.53% of all clicks. In 2020, that's jumped up to 18.8%, which is a pretty big jump. Think about that. One ASIN is getting almost 20% of all clicks from the highest volume keyword. So what I did here is I took the average of the number one click share for the top 20 search terms for my product if I sold weighted blankets, okay? And this is the biggest thing where in 2019 it was 20%. So the top ASIN for each of these average 20% of all clicks, which is really big, in 2020 it jumped up to 31%. So this kind of just tells you right away how quickly things move and how quickly best sellers really start to form because the second clicked ASIN now is getting 14, third clicked is getting 7.5. When they both launched, the number two and number three were much closer to the first one, right? But now it's much more skewed towards the best seller. So this just kind of gives you some insight on how quickly you need to move, but how simply you can maybe get a bestseller. So if you can find, so now what I would do if I was, if I was selling a weighted blanket or if I was launching a weighted blanket in 2019, 
I would see, okay, the click share from the best sellers averages about 20%. But this one for king size weighted blanket is only 12%. And the second and third click share is kind of the same. So this looks like a pretty open search term, right? Because the first, second, and third best selling ASIN are all pretty evenly distributed. So there's not a clear, a clear winner in 2019, right? So again, I was also like breaking out the average, the average for the first, second, and third, right? And you, if you were launching a new product, you'd be looking for the one with me with the lowest average, because that means there's some, there's some room there. Weighted blanket for kids. Looks like that had some opportunity for it. So if we focus on this one, king size weighted blanket, in 2019, the best selling ASIN, let me just get this here. In 2019, the best selling ASIN for king size weighted blanket was this one, which is a full size. It's not even a king. So that means no one had launched a king size blanket yet. This keyword was open. If I go to 2020, remember this 11, this 12% number, right? If I go to 2020, the best selling king size weighted blanket is getting 26% of all clicks. It's huge. That's a massive difference in one year that that more than doubled and the best sell, best selling king size weighted blanket is this one. It's a king size weighted blanket and it's dominating. It's getting getting over a quarter of all the clicks for this keyword. And it's probably most of its sales are coming from this single keyword alone. So that's it. That's the tip, but it's, it's very simple data to go through. And I think if you can find some holes like this, where if you see this, where the first, second, and third aren't that far apart and you can find, again, you can scroll down here. There's, there's a lot of keywords here. You know, you can keep going even in your, in your category. Now type in your main keyword into brand analytics, see what this, see what this distribution is. And then see if there's one of those uh, one of those keywords you can take advantage of because it's going to be obvious if there's room to sneak in there and grab that number one click share from one of these keywords. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to find some more stuff to go through on brand analytics. This one I just came up with this today. It was pretty interesting. Probably going to go through this for some of my clients as well. Because uh, again, I think if you can find some really low numbers in this number one click share, you can really start to dominate some of these keywords. And it's it. we're not talking about hundreds of keywords here. We're talking about isolating a single keyword and going after it and crushing it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. And I hope everyone is well.